Hi guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I'm going to be taking you through my first week back at school. I am on school during my summer term. This is my second semester of pharmacy school and I just got back after a two-week trip to Vietnam. So lots of things to get in order, lots of systems to set up to have a successful term. And without further ado, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get into the video. So I only had two classes today and the first one was only like 13 minutes anyways because it's just an introduction and all the lectures are asynchronous. So it's still really early in the day and Adam and I are just going to go grocery shopping really quickly because I haven't been home in two weeks. So I'm just gonna do a quick grocery run of all the typical things that I usually get like salmon curry packets and all my typical vegetables So let's go into the grocery store of matcha Hagen dazs I'm gonna get two of these because they're easy to meal prep. <laughs> this is the epitome of balance. <laughs> Okay guys, I am literally so jet lagged right now. I just woke up randomly and I've been awake for the last like two hours. I basically got home, ate dinner, and then I fell asleep at 8.30 p.m. And then I just woke up at 1.30. Jet lag is hitting so hard like two days later. And honestly, I've just been talking to Daisy and like getting my apartment sorted. Adam came the other day and he was really helpful and helped me do my laundry. So I just spent the last bit cleaning my room and putting that away. And now I'm just gonna have plain vanilla, hog and dazs. I have matcha and drumsticks in the fridge, but I already had both of those today. So I'm just gonna have this one like for something new even though it's so plain it's so good anyone who doesn't like vanilla ice cream is like literally cooked anyways i'm just gonna have some of this and then i'm gonna keep watching some lectures and i guess just get ahead in my classes it's only the night of day two but i have kind of nothing else to do and i basically read my entire tbr while i was on vacation but yeah i might be cooked because i have a 9 a.m and it is 3 48 a.m and i have been awake since like one ish so the question is am i gonna make it to my 9 a.m i don't know we're gonna hope so Hopefully I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> So my class ended around 2.30 and it's now 5, so I've just been working for the last couple of hours. As you guys know, I just came off my first final exam season as a graduate student. I'm a pharmacy student, if you guys didn't know. And I just wanted to give a huge shout out to Grammarly for sponsoring this portion of the video. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant and an all-in-one writing tool that helps improve your efficiency when doing any essays or assignments. I've been using Grammarly for years and it's extremely helpful, more so than ever, because I did have a mandatory professional communications course and so I had a lot of written pieces and essays to complete. I found that it Always saved me from losing out on easy marks and I did get my exams back and this was my highest course of the term. I also love that Grammarly has free auto citations which generates full and in-text citations which saves you so much time from copying and pasting and you just avoid that whole hassle altogether. I also ensure all my writing pieces are flawless with Grammarly Premium because of their plagiarism checker. Academic integrity is of utmost importance when you get to post-secondary education so I like knowing that Grammarly scans 16 billion web pages to ensure my essays are good to go. Lastly, Grammarly works in all my favorite platforms like Google Docs and at Microsoft Words, so it's just extremely seamless in my workflow. And yeah, these are the features that really help me be successful in all my communication courses for the last couple of years, and I highly recommend getting started with them at the link in my description box below. You can go to grammarly.com slash brianaquan05, sign up for a free account, and to get extra features, you can upgrade to Grammarly Premium for 20% off. And thank you again at Grammarly for sponsoring this portion of the video.
it doesn't really look like it, but I spent like two hours cleaning my room yesterday. And right now I'm just headed out to study at the pharmacy school building with Ginny. I haven't studied with her in so long because of the break. And we're just trying to stay a little bit ahead in terms of content. So and this is my outfit of the day. I swear my room isn't actually this messy. I cleaned it yesterday. It just doesn't look like that anymore. And I also am just a little congested. I'm not sick at all. I just literally have a congested nose, but I don't have allergies because my eyes aren't watering or anything like that. And I've never had any allergies before. So anyways, I'm gonna pick up sushi and then we're gonna get going. So this is the room that I studied in for three weeks straight during exams. And that was in the exam study vlog, but I was just studying like 12 hours a day that I didn't even bother like bringing my camera to campus some days, which is weird, right? Cause I always have my camera on. Like at least two. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> used two. But now we're getting ahead basically. Anyways, we're gonna set a timer for an hour and then we'll check back in and see how much we've gotten done. Ginny is now over and we are going to make dinner really quick. I'm gonna make a spicy stir fried like udon dish that I've kind of seen on Instagram and TikTok. It sounds like you just chop a bunch of vegetables and you just make a sauce and throw it all in a pan. So hopefully it'll be easy. And our place actually sent me a new always pan. It can now go up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and into the oven. So that's super helpful. So thank you our place for sending me that. So this is the udon bread that I'm gonna be using and we're gonna make three portions because Jenny and I are we're big hungry. <laughs> we're hungry. But yeah, let's get cooking. This is, looks like a lot of noodles, but we'll eat it. I hope. Okay, in the pan I have diced garlic, onions, and the bok choy getting wilted and the noodles are almost done cooking and I'm just gonna whip up the sauce really quickly which is all the flavor in the dish. Everything's basically eyeball. So I'm gonna do a tablespoon of vegetables and then I'll do a tablespoon of gochujang and then I think I'll do like a tablespoon or maybe half of light soy sauce. I'll do some sesame oil. Like a tablespoon, a salt. I'm gonna add some mirin in here. Brianna's in the washroom, but look at how pretty the sky is right now. And the way it just like lights up the kitchen, so beautiful. And Ginny and I are just gonna enjoy the evening and watch a new drama that just dropped, which is Black Knight, apparently. Black Knight, yeah. <laughs> Morning guys, ignore the mess of the living room, but this is my outfit for the day. I thrifted this skirt when I was in Vietnam and it actually fits really well, it's really cute. And this is also a top that I thrifted. I actually think it's quite fitting that I'm wearing all white because today is my white coat ceremony, which is basically where all the pharmacy students take an oath and then they like welcome you into the profession officially and you get your white coats. And I'm really excited and I did buy a dress yesterday. It's giving me prom. So I wore a like baby blue prom dress and now I have my white coat ceremony and I'm wearing baby blue again. So yeah, let's go to class. I bought these a while ago but I never made them and they're cheese tteokbokki or like cheese like rice cake so I'm gonna make this for Ginny and I today and it's gonna be super easy because you just throw everything into a pan which is honestly a majority of my cooking style Ginny and I always do this thing where it's like a one person <laughs> job and it's like I need to pour one thing to another mm -hmm. and then it takes two people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're eating lunch right now and I just got a surprise delivery. It's so cute. I have no idea who it's from right now. Oh my god. 
Aww. Dear Brianna, congratulations on receiving your white coat. Your hard work has finally paid off and you truly deserve all the success coming your way. I'm so proud of you and your achievements. This is the only beginning of many. Love you, Adam. Oh, stop. That's so cute. You're so cute. So the final look, and yeah, I think it's pretty cute.